Hello everyone, we are Katie and Joe and we're back again with another video and today we're going to do, we're going to start the scariest portion of the van build. What are we doing today? Electrical. So why is this so scary for us? Basically, if we mess this up, we could burn the van down. That's we true. We could hurt ourselves. We could, could, could burn ourselves down. <laughs> um, just, it's something really intimidating with neither of us having sort of that electrical background background at all. Absolutely not. So like, if we can do this, so can you. <laughs> you can too. Um, but we have been doing a lot of research and what we came across was Explorist Life and they're a great channel on YouTube that provides so much content through for van building. Everything. Yeah. We, they have a video for full battery build for a sprinter that we probably watched literally 20 times. And it's like an hour and a half long video. And we just like put it on, we have dinner and we watch this over and over again to get more and more comfortable with the words like amperage and voltage and battery. So basically they're wonderful. And the thing that's even better is they offer a full kit. Yes. So we ordered their full DIY electrical kit that included solar and everything, wires, things, DC, all DC stuff. charging, solar. Um, the only things that we didn't, that you didn't get through them are the solar panels, the yes. Victron uh, MultiPlus. And our Battleborn batteries, which we have two Game Changer batteries from Battleborn. Yeah. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna break open these boxes, see what's in here, and slowly trip away. So follow on. Included in the Explorer's Life kit is a Victron battery monitor, battery bank wiring kit, ours for two batteries, a chassis ground wiring kit, a Victron Lynx distributor, and we actually ordered two, so we have one, and a second Victron Lynx distributor, our DC to DC wiring kit, a DC to DC charger, an AC distribution panel, a DC distribution panel, the 12 volt DC fuse panel wiring kit, the AC distribution wiring kit, the smart solar charge controller, a 60 amp fuse, the smart solar wiring kit, 30 feet of 10 aught wire, the solar array wiring kit, PV connectors, the Victron MultiPlus wiring kit, 30 amp shore power wiring kit, 15 amp to 30 amp power adapter, a 30 amp shore power cord, the Lynx distributor wiring kit, the Victron UPT cable, and the VE smart bus dongle. So Katie just went through everything that's part of the Explorers Live kit, and now it's my privilege to go through everything that is not part of the kit that you're going to have to purchase to make all of this actually function. Number one on that, our Victron Multi Plus. So the Explorers Live kit works with any batteries, you just have to tell them which batteries you're going to choose. We decided to go with the Battleborn Game Changer batteries. They are 270 amp hour batteries and we got two of them. So in addition to the batteries, we got the brackets direct from them. This is going to allow us to easily mount them to our battery box system. Something that we're a bit frustrated with about, um, we talked to them at Overland Expo Battleborn and we were like, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this van, we're gonna go skiing a lot, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, this is the battery for you. It's going to be super great. It is a game changer. We ordered these three days later, they came out with a heated version, um, which basically lithium batteries don't do well when they're cold. It would have removed that entire situation and they didn't tell us about that. It's very frustrating. And then we find out that there are other more professional van builders who have had their hands on them for a while. So like something small when you're spending, how Like $8,000. Like, like $8,000, it would have been nice to know that, hey, the thing that you're looking for, the thing that we talked about is only going to be $60 more and you just have to order them three days later. Um, and because they're in Utah, it would have been really expensive to send it back. Just frustrating, they, someone should have just told us. So if you're gonna order it, maybe get the heated one. Right, <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're in cold weather, if you're going to be in cold weather, order the heated ones. They're literally like $70 more and they would have saved a lot of headache. Our goal today was to unbox and finish up the wiring in the van. We did it and now we're gonna go inside and plan out um, the structure of it. 